Similar to SAS, R is a flexible analytics coding language that can be used for data manipulation and also statistical analysis and building data science models. But unlike SAS, R is open source and free. <laughs> the R languages is usually coded out and ran in an IDE, an integrated development environment. And the most popular IDE for R is RStudio, but there are others as well out there. R ha also has an online reporting tool called Shining R, which, Shiny R, which is worth checking out. R uses packages that are full of functions for various types of data manipulations and actions. There's packages for regression and different types of data science models and all kinds of data manipulation functions. Now, R has historically been the statistician's preferred SAS alternative, more so than Python. But that seems to be changing as more and more data science algorithms have been created in Python and often in a more computationally efficient manner than in R. That's a generalization. At the bottom here, we have an example of RStudio where you can see the coding window, the console, uh, some variable definitions at the top right, and uh, some examples of output in the bottom right. It's a neat setup, uh, a neat IDE setup, where you, each part of the screen has its purpose. I want to thank you for watching today. I hope you got a lot out of it. And if you did, please consider liking the video and subscribing if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future. Now, if you have any questions about what we covered, please consider leaving a comment and I'll try to respond to it as soon as I can. One last thing. If you or your organization ever need anything analytics related, an analysis, a dashboard build, maybe a data science model build, perhaps deeper training on this very topic or other analytics topics, even a complete analytics transformation, please consider Value Driven Analytics. Check out our site at valuedrivenanalytics.com. And if it resonates with you, give us a call. We'd love to help you out.